What is happening? Welcome to another pitch video breakdown. My name is Nick Pollock, former pitching coach, founder of pitchless.com, where we have so many articles every single day about pitching, everything you need to know about baseball. It's there. Go check out pitchless.com. But we're going to watch Reed Detmers because he threw a no hitter yesterday with two strikeouts. Uh, and he's a youngin. He's 22 years old. And he threw this new no hitter. This is insane. We're going to watch the last inning to see what Detmers still had in the tank. Over 90 pitches. He had never thrown. Over eight innings uh, in, in professional ball, never over six. So it's exciting stuff. And what Reed Detmers does very, very quickly, as I like to do, I just like to do a quick, uh, you know, um, overview of what their approach is. You're going to see fastballs around here, uh, about 92, 93. A really good big curveball. I mean, this thing is 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 everything for Reed Detmers. Um, sometimes you're going to see a changeup that's going to come in and fade away this way. Uh, and then you're going to see, I'm going to, I'm doing it all the way over, over here for whatever reason. You're going to see sometimes a slider that falls farther in this way. That slider is the thing that's been missing the most from Reed Detmers, I think, this year. It's the one element I've been waiting for to coronate. Uh, coronate? I don't know. Uh, to do a coronation? <laughs> <laughs> for Reed Detmers making it to the majors and really being a dominant starter. Uh, we didn't see it this game. And we saw him throw a lot of curveballs and fastballs, and sometimes changeups worked, and that was good. Uh, I think he got a little bit lucky, but we're going to watch his ninth inning here to see how he attacked, guys. So there's that big curveball, and that's just, it's beautiful. Really, this is the pitch that has allowed Detmers to, to start consistently and be effective in the majors. It's a foundation that allows him to, you know, really, if he had a slider, to actually be someone like a top 30, top 40 starter in the majors. But he hasn't gone there quite yet. But that pitch is what allows him to go through outs and lineups consistently. So he gets some free real estate there, and he tries to do it again, and he does it. And Bruhan's like, oh, yeah. All right, I guess that's the thing. So 0-2, you have a couple options. You can throw another curveball. He doesn't want to swing at it. So maybe now he's going to get in his head and he can throw it down. And the way that the catcher is set up now makes me think that he's ready to block. Or actually, maybe it's so high up that he's going to go a high heater. I mean, those are the two things you'd want to do right now. You'd want to explore up here and really play with the uh, the tunneling of the curveball coming up here and then falling down. And then actually staying up and messing up with Bruhan. Or you go with a curveball that goes farther down to this point. Uh, we'll see what we get. And we get that. And that's strike three. That's strike three. And I do th wonder, because the catcher is standing up as he is, if he's lower, he comes up with that glove, um, kind of like we saw in the previous at-bat here. Look how low he is. And he's able to pr to properly come up with it. But because in the second, or sorry, in the, in the third pitch here, he's up here, and he falls down with it. And you don't get the call. And this is a no-hitter going on. This is a no-hitter. This isn't like, you know, a 2-2 a ball game in the fourth somewhere in, in Ohio. Okay? This is a no-hitter in the ninth inning. You got to get this one. You got to get it. So, fine. You know, oh, yeah. The announcers were going nuts about it. So, there he does throw a slider. He's trying to do that um, back foot one. It's just a little too low. It uh, doesn't get the full swing. And you haven't thrown a fastball yet. Maybe you can get one up and in. Oh, and he gets one up. And honestly, I think this would have been the better uh, the better 0-2 pitch. Maybe, honestly, the one he threw was perfect because he didn't swing. It was in the zone. Um, but Bruan was had, was waiting for this fastball the entire time. Finally got one. And there's your first out. Okay? Demers has a good fastball that plays up. When he throws it lower, it can get hit, but up here it does good things. So you're against the left, you might see some different stuff. And that's an 87 mile per hour slider. I believe it is a slider. I believe it's the only whiff he got the entire night on it. There was some debate, was this actually a fastball or not? We have a terrible camera angle. I believe Savant actually classified it as an 87 mile per hour fastball. I saw this and I thought, wait a second, is this heater down? Uh, is he all of a sudden in the ninth inning on his 99th pitch showing so much fatigue? I think it was a slider. Kiermaier was like, I'm Kevin Kiermaier, so I'm going to whiff on this pitch. So like, is he at 99? Oh, no, no. He's at 92. And that is, I don't really know what Kiermaier, I mean, 
I don't know what's in his head. Maybe he's thinking, oh, I just whipped in that slider. I'll probably see another one. But this is the dream pitch if you're Kiermaier. This is right there. He gives a good hack on it, and he sends it back. You know, this is so close. So close to ending the no-hitter. I mean, if I just give you that freeze frame, would you say that that's a whiff, a foul, or a hit? You know, and oh, so close. My uh, my old college college coach would say, whenever he fouls it back, it means he's on it with timing. You got to throw something else. So, 0-2. Let's see what Detmers goes with. He doesn't throw something else. He throws a 93 mile per hour, per hour fast. But what do you know? Kiermaier is on that too. You got to throw something else. Throw the curveball. Throw the slider. Throw the changeup. Whatever. Just something else. And he throws the slider. And that's a really good one. Really nice play to get that out quickly. This is excellent. I mean, it is 0-2. And I will say that if he gets this a little farther out. I mean, look how, look, look how just beat he is. Kiermaier's on his front foot, thinking heater, or at least timed for heater. Off his timing on the fat, on the slider. Stretching out as he's committed and hoping to hit this pitch. So if this were a little bit farther away, he doesn't hit it. And it's, you know, it's a strikeout. There's no chance of that ball finding, you know, dirt and it's just staying there as, as Kiermaier speeds down the line. But what's the best pitch you can make in on a two pitch? One that returns an out, right? You got an out. I mean, you throw that pitch, you're pretty much going to get an out every single time. So, awesome. And that, I mean, I was talking about the slider not really being here um, for this game. Those are two good sliders. Those aren't those big whiff sliders is kind of what I want. I mean, on both of them, like the first one was a whiff in the zone. Second one was really well spotted. Got an out. We'll see if over time Redemers gets that. All right. It's top of the ninth. Two outs. And look at that. Just beautiful free real estate. Mm -mm. 72. It's in the middle, though, Nick. Doesn't matter. Yandy Diaz doesn't want to swing at that. He just doesn't. Doesn't want to swing at that at all. Come on, you can do this, Demers. You got this. Oh, one. Fastball in. Okay. He's getting. A little, he's got some adrenaline throwing. 92. He's still there. Flowing. Oh, man. And this, this is, it looks like it's a changeup is what I'm going to say. That is supposed to land over here. Diaz thinks it's a fastball. This is off the knob of the bat. You know, this is a, this is, this is, he's out in front of this. You can even see like very much in the end of the bat as it comes back over and, and Diaz has no idea. It goes foul and now it's one, two. <laughs> you are one bitch away, Detmers. Don't remember this. Uh, in my favorite days, you would see Detmers throw a slider here. What I would expect would be a fastball up. Maybe just go with that curveball. That's the best thing you got. Let's see what we go with. Fastball up, 93 over through because he knew he was one pitch away. Curveball goes with the curveball. And what do you know? Look at this. Look, Just look at this spot. I remember seeing this curveball come out of his hand and thinking he's got it. There's no way that Yandy Diaz hits this. Why? Because it's such a good curveball. Look at the break. It is so hard at 2-2. Two -two. To hit this thing, you have to swing. This is going through the, the entire zone. Right at the bottom of the uh, strike zone. There's no way There's no way Andrew messes that up. And there you go. There's the no-hitter uh, from Reed Detmers. It's, uh, I think the biggest takeaway, if you're just learning about Reed Detmers right now, that is 72 miles per hour on that curveball is so much break. And it's going to be here for a long time. It is a really, really good pitch. He throws fastballs with intent up, and the development you might see moving forward is with that slider returning whiffs. The second that that happens with consistency, Reed Detmers is going to be a special pitcher for Los Angeles. I don't know when it will be. This wasn't the most dominant start. Only two strikeouts over 27 outs is kind of susceptible. Uh, that's 25 for 25 on the base paths, I guess. Uh, which is or in by the balls in play, which is eh, not so much believable, but still, Detmers, he didn't pitch poorly, and it went his way yesterday. But that's gonna do it for today's pitch video breakdown. As always, hit the subscribe button and the and the bell helps me out a ton. You don't want to miss any of these. I do these five days a week, and there might be a bonus video um, that we're gonna be doing uh, in the near future as well, uh, which I cannot wait to start making. Uh, but that's going to do it for today. So my name is Nick Pollock, and may your babbits be low and your strikeouts high.